All right. Hi, I am Colby. I am Code Dameron. I am the coach of the Boca Raton Belly Bolts, and I am here for my week three match against OMG It's Daddy and the PAW. Oh, I know what that is. I'll find out what it is. I always end up doing this, but um, oh my god, this is a super hard match. PAW. I know what this is. Philadelphia Ash Whoopers. I wouldn't have remembered. Okay. I've been prepping for this match all week. It is Sunday night at 9. Um, our schedules haven't matched up all week, but here we are playing our game. And the problem with this is that I have had more time to prep than is reasonable. Way too much time to prep. Um, and this matchup is really bad for me. Let's talk about the reasons why this match is bad for me. Um, Tornadus is scary. Tornadus is really fast. Tornadus hits me with Bleak Wind on a lot of my guys. Tornadus hits me with Taunt on a lot of my guys. Prankster, uh, Galewind's Fletchender has one weakness, maybe two if you're counting Murkrow, um, and that's other Prankster Tailwinds. So, Fletchender is a much less reliable Tailwind setter. Um, shoutouts to both Jace and Poppin, uh, and, uh, uh, and Jordan and a lot of people in Purple Rain mocking with me and just smashing my face in with this team. It's been terrifying. Um, Tornadus makes him go faster than me. When he feels like it. And a lot of his guys are just naturally faster than me. Um, 95 is faster than 91. 102 is faster than 97. And 111 is faster than 100. 102 is also faster than 100. His guys are fast. And my speed choice is often in trouble. Additionally, his guys are slow. Um, Hatterene and Spiritomb are actually pretty slow compared to the rest of my team. Uh, if he actually wants to go Guja or Overquill, he can get them pretty slow. Um... I am running a min speed Mesprit to get under this overquill. We'll talk about that in a second. But uh, speed is really hard in this matchup. So let's go with offense. Well, the problem is offense is really hard in this matchup too. Um, Typhlosion with Eruption is faster than Landorus and will blow him up if I don't Terra. Eruption will get me. So I'm Scarf. We'll talk about this in a second. And um, Palafin... Palafin's actually pretty good in this matchup. Palafin, uh, just being a water type, he doesn't have a water type, so it's hard for him to resist me naturally. He also doesn't have a grass type. Well, I'm sorry, he has two water types. He doesn't have a grass type. Um, so it's actually kind of real that Palafin comes and kind of messes things up. Um, Gudra's a problem. We'll talk about Gudra. Gudra's totally coming, and I'm terrified of it. But I do have my three um, physical attackers. He has an overquill. I'm going to lose out on attack points. He has a Rotom. Um, the Rotom will click on Thunderbolt, and I have 100 special defense EVs and only one HP EV because this is a more efficient way for Palafin to live the Rotom, Frost, Thunderbolt when he's max special attack. This matchup is so bad. This matchup is so hard. Big Other big problems. Amoongus is the worst he's ever been. Um, Amoongus can't spore Hatterene because he has ma she has magic bounce and can't spore Gujra reliably because of uh, Sap Zipper. I think it's going to be Shell Armor, but Sap Zipper is a consideration. Um, Tornadus, Typhlosion, uh, both have spread moves and and Rotom all have spread moves that hit Amoongus super effectively for a different type. And his type chart, by the way, Daddy, great type chart. Look at the Grass column, nothing here. Look at the Poison column. Just Hatterene here. Look at the bug column. Nothing here. Amoongus has no good moves into this matchup. The foul play column. What am I hitting with foul play? Overquill? Resisted. Uh, Garchomp? Not bad. All this is really hard. Um, furthermore, Urshifu can't beat Garchomp because um, Rough Skin will make me lose my Focus Sash. I just have to eat that or hit it after I've already lost my Sash. And he can't beat Gudra very easily, because if he gets a shelter up, then Wicked Blow, he's going to be Shell Armor. And I can't crit the Gudra through the through the, the shelter. Um, it can't be shelter and, uh, and Assault Vest, but it's still terrifying. I've had a lot of teams, man. I've had, this was my start. I was doing Articuno Bright Powder things. This didn't make sense. I was doing AV. Landorus things. I tried Amoongus things. Just kept getting, kept getting blown up and taunted. Everything kept getting taunted. I had a really cool Fletchender that was designed with Eviolate to live. Garchomp Rock Slides get, got taunted and shut down. Shoutouts to Gale Wings Air Slash with Roost for your fake outs at home. This was a midnight build. I'm so proud of this build. 
this level 37 Hatna with Healing Wish just to underspeed Hatterene, but uh, and, and magic bounce back all the taunts at priority speed, but oh no. Um, you can't under level in VGC, so this didn't work. I've had a lot, a lot, a lot of prep. And this is where I think we are. Um, the Rotom is here. The Rotom actually was not in the team for a while, but turns out Rotom is really good defensively into this team. Uh, Tornadus, Typhlosion can't hit it super effectively. Garchomp can't Earthquake it. Hatterene can't Dazzling Gleam it. Um, the Rotom's kind of good. Its job is to hit things neutrally and let Palafin clean up with Jet Punch, let Landorus clean up with Scarf Rock Slides. The Palafin and Landorus here are here to actually be my speed control. Uh, Scarf Landorus into Typhlosion is a really cool lead interaction, which I hope to see, because the Intimidate and the Frisk will go off at speed order. And if the Typhlosion frisks my Scarf, good for you, I will frisk you back by knowing if I'm faster than you. Um, by showing the Intimidate. If I show the Intimidate over the Frisk, he already knew I was Scarf anyway. He's paying attention. <sighs> I gotta match the Tornadus' Tailwind. I gotta not get Mental Herbed. Um, the Mesprit. The Mesprit's been the last kind of update to the team. Is that this was Mystical Power for a while, but uh, in Protect. But the Imprison lets me Imprison Trick Room, but also Imprison Dazzling Gleam, which... Hatterene doesn't get Moonblast, so as a fairy type, it's probably running Dazzling Gleam. And Terra Dark means that it can't Dazzling Gleam because of Imprison, and it can't Psychic me um, because I'm Terra Dark. Hopefully, this Mesprit shuts down the Hatterene. Um, the special attack EVs are to kill a Garchomp. Okay. Okay, no live links. Uh, let me just tell... Um, oh, I don't need to be here. Hold on. I need to be here. I need to be... Uh, I guess this can go away. This can come here. I need... This. I need this. I need... This, 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 this. This. We're going to be team number six. Challenge. Oh, I'm hyped. I've been waiting for this matchup literally all week. Okay. No Typhlosion. Let's send two more. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Da -da 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 -da. I think there's a faster way to do this. Wug Trio. Also, I think I just brought some really good mons. A thing I did last week, which worked very well, is just brought six good mons and did my thing as well as I could. Yeah. Yeah, let's make sure that this looks kind of nice on the screen. That'll do. Let me get my matchup on the side. How fast is Wugtrio? 120? Okay, so he's fast. Fast Wug. Here's Gudra. Kind of scared. Here's Garchomp. Here's Tornadus. I think I want to be leading Landorus, because that's the plan. And I think I want to lead Landorus Fletchender. No, no hat? There's no hat? Okay. So Gudra's the endgame. Garchomp is the endgame. I want to be bringing Mesprit. Let's lead Fletchender Palafin. Do I need to be matching Tailwinds? Flip turn's a really cool move, because Tornadus doesn't like to protect. Um, I want to lead Palafin. Palafin looks great here. I want Urshifu in the back. I don't... <sighs> Landorus looks pretty good. Landorus looks really good, actually. Garchomp is faster than me. Tornadus is faster than me. Maybe Landorus doesn't look that good. Um, do we need Tailwind? Willibus looks pretty good. He doesn't know I'm Mental Herb. Do I need Tailwind? OK, 
Okay, let's do this. I think I need Tailwind. I really want to bring this Mesper to, to mess up this Garchomp, but I need to bring the Urshifu to mess up the Gudra. The Landorus messes up the Gudra just fine. Do I need Urshifu? I'm not bringing Rotom this time. Maybe next game. Do I need Urshifu? Terra goes to stop the body press. I think I want Urshifu. I think Mesprit's a game two mix up. I'm expecting Tornadus. Yeah. And the Wug. Okay, so I'm getting triple dived here. I don't think either of these threaten the Palafin. Let's get a flip turn in. Let's get our Tailwind in our flip turn. Flip turn, good. Yep, match the Tailwind. Fine with this. No problem here. Gets under my Sash! Happy with that. Okay. This is fast. Gets under this Sash, too. Let's tarot the Landorus. Rattled. If you're intimidated, you go even faster. Might be banned? I don't know. I'm choice banned. Does this kill Wug Trio? Wave Crash kills Wug Trio. Choice banned Wave Trash kills Wug, Wug Trio? I want to Terra Water the Landorus. I want to threaten the Tornadus. Am I okay with Wave Crash and with Palafin? Jet Punch won't kill. Earthquake will kill. Let's jet punch the Tornadus. Get an Earthquake off. No, I don't want an Earthquake. I want a Rock Slide. Okay. Um, let's Rave Crash and, walk, or and Terra Water Rock Slide. I'm actually kind of afraid of the Wook Trio. I like Sash. I like my Sashes. So, an important thing about this matchup that I learned is that it's really, really important to respect the Tornadus. Uh -huh. The Tornadus getting a second Tailwind is actually terrifying. Okay. So. Gudra. So I need to leave with Landorus and get my Earthquake in? Or can I just Urshifu in close combat it? Can I just attack this Overquill or do I need to get in my Urshifu? <sighs> That's not a lot of damage. That's very physically defensive. Minus one. I'm supposed to be doing 16% if it's normal. Oh my god. This thing's a problem. At minus one wave crash. I'd like to kill this. I would like to kill you, please. I'd like to go to my Urshifu. Maybe I take a hit. Maybe I take a big hit here into the Urshifu. But I would like to not be intimidated, please. We killed the Wug Trio because it threatened us with Triple Dive. And I actually want to preserve the Urshifu's Focus Sash. I expect this. I'm expecting this Gudra to probably Terra Fairy and. Or Terra something that is resistant to fighting. Not Terra Steel, not Terra Dark, Terra Water, Terra Annoying. Um. He is not Terrid. He has clicked on Triple Dive and Tailwind so far. I have clicked on more attacking moves than he has. Terra Flying, that's why. Nice wave, nice, nice live. This thing has defense investment. Gunk Shot's annoying. Draco Meteor's annoying. Okay, so it's just Life Orb. 
So I bet you this is a salt vest, potentially mixed. I don't want to close combat it. I think this might be time for Stone Edge. Rockslide isn't going to do it. I want a Stone Edge here. I am faster. I could start fishing for flinches. Switch out and go to Tornadus. 62%. Did Tornadus take? What did Tornadus take? He took a flip turn. Is it rock slide and just hit this? Am I afraid of this Gudra? It's at minus two, but I bet you it's physical, but now it's intimidated. Is he gonna switch out the Gudra? Do I need to be stone edging is the question. I like rock slide's a great move. And then wicked blow over here. I need to be Aggressive. Oh, Tornadus is going to get Tailwind next turn. I need to kill this Gudra. <sighs> Wicked Blow isn't killing the Overquill. Oh, it is? No, it's got to be close combat. Okay, okay. Let's get him. Let's just get him. We're, we're faster. We're Scarf. We're, th we're, we're a fragile team. If he switches this out into... I need this to kill the Gudra, though. I don't think it will. I'm not at minus one. Terra flying. Does it know that it's flying? Yeah. That's fine. Don't kill? Okay, that kills. Oh. Oh. Life orb. Protect? Show me you have Protect on your Tornadus. Do it. I'm running an Urshifu. You don't have Protect in this Tornadus. Life Orb? Life Orb? Get the kill? Let's go! Okay. Game one. Whew. We learned not a lot. Stone Edge was good. Rock Slide may have been equivalent, but... Stone Edge was good. <sighs> okay. Okay, what's the adjustment? Does he adjust? I don't I don't like that. I didn't like how that went. Um, I want to see Palafin again. I want to bring in Palafin to start. I want to bring in Mesprit. Garchomp didn't come. Garchomp's gotta come. Palafin Landorus. Terra Flying Gudra. Landorus, what a champ. I want to lead Palafin. Um, I'm happy hard switching it today. I'm happy kind of hard switching it into Mesprit. I'm expecting a trick room. Am I expecting trick room to actually happen? He doesn't know Urshifu was Focus Sash. That's cool. I want to lead Palafin. Palafin was great. Overcool was in the back. I I don't know if Mesprit's it. Mesprit was here to beat Gudra, but it beats Garchomp pretty pretty well. Do I need Fletchender is kind of the question. I think I can lead really aggressive. And I can do like flip turn, U-turn things. I can just super pivot. Do I want Rotom? Rotom's really bad into Gudra. Rotom's fine into Gudra. Trade life orbs. Rotom's just bad into Garchomp. Bring Mesprit Garchomp. Mesprit, Mesprit Rotom for the Garchomp. Bring your other two Mons, which is a thing that I don't love doing. Or I kind of like, I like, I think you're supposed to bring at least one of your other Mons every match. I think this is fine. I think what if I just don't, I do some switching and then I do Trick Room things. Just to be, I let him have the Tailwind. Terra Dark. Okay, so so the, the idea behind this is I'm expecting him to lead Garchomp. And if I'm expecting him to lead Garchomp, maybe I'm actually supposed to leave Mesprit Pal Palafin. Um, bring Landris in the back, because Landris is good. I'm expecting Clear Amulet, because that's what Garchomp runs. <sighs> the reason to lead Palafin Landris is to just kind of concede speed control. But I can 
see the spirit tomb coming. The Urshifu didn't seem that great. It seemed fine. It had sucker punch. Let's bring the Rotom. Bring my bring my um There's the Garchomp. He's not ready. He's not ready. Ice Beam here. He's not ready. And I'm gonna hard switch this. I think that the flip turn. I don't actually want to take the damage on the Palafin. Um, he's not going to click Earthquake. He's going to click Rock Slide. Or some Garchomp move. So here's Landorus. But he's not expecting the Ice Beam that's meant to kill the, the Garchomp. Um, Garchomp will die. Um, if, he's not, if he's not ready. Clear Amulet. That's what we thought. There's Bleakwind. Bleakwind's dumb. Uh-oh. Ooh, okay. Trade me the Garchomp, please. Thank you. Bye, Garchomp. Now I have a Palafin, sir. Yeah. Ooh, maybe I've got a Rotom. Palafin in the back? Terra Water? Do I want to... Yeah, give me the Rotom. Wasn't expecting that, now was ya? Um, this is a little, a little annoying, but maybe fine, because I am mean to Trick Room. Good turn one. Okay. I think this is a great time to click on a cool button with Mesprit. Terra Dark Imprison. No. Imprison just gets on Trick Room. I'm actually kind of slow now. Um, Dazzling Gleam's just fine. Can Tornadus beat Palafin? What if I just hit this thing really hard? Can I Terra Electric the Rotom today? Is he going to Sucker Punch me? How much is Rotom doing? Um, I actually don't want to be clicking on uh, Discharge at all today. Okay, I think I'm supposed to click on Dazzling Gleam. And then Thunderbolt. I think I want to Terra Thunderbolt. I think I want to just be really rude to this Tornadus or something. Just, I really want this kill. And then having no weakness is just great. I'm Life Orb. I think we learned that it's not... Oh, I did hit it. I did hit it twice last match. Yeah, so it might be Sash. So I'm Dazzling Gleaming. But, like, this could click on Sucker Punch and kill Mesprit. That'd be kind of bad, but I'm super defensive. Right? Okay. Ally Switch. Bleak Windstorm. Whatever. Let's do. Let's just do a bunch of damage. Let's just get him. Yeah, let's get him. What's the problem here? I don't see any problems. What's your problem? I don't see the problem. What's the problem? Ooh. Do I care? I'm not intimidated now. Let's just get him. Let's just get him. Terrors are going to happen. No one's terrored. I've terrored. He hasn't terrored. So he's going to hit the Rotom. Do I gleam? Do I ice beam the this guy? Can this guy solo me? I'm really slow. I'm actually not. I'm actually this Mesprit slow. I'm glad I didn't imprison. That was too cute. It was meant to beat Hatterene. <sighs> Bleak Wind. 40 to Mesprit. First time Bleakwind did... Okay, Me Mesprit's living another Bleakwind. Go Mesprit. This guy can't hit both of me. Um, I'm just going to hit him. Tornadus is going to Terra to resist the Rotom. Let's do that button. And let's get the... Let's get you. Let's get the Overquill. I don't know what this, what this Overquill has. I know it's dead in this game. It's got Gunk Shot. Um, but Palafin, Palafin we saved for the end game, and we're just getting kills. And this is, this is the rest of the team's job is to set up that Palafin can come in and get um, choice banned. What's it called? Kills. Woof! Go Rotom. Nice crit. Thank you for your service, Mr. Rotom. Now here's the thing. I don't think I'm supposed to click on. Um, he's gonna terror. Right? This thing didn't terror. Nothing terrored. So I think Ice Beam's actually going to be worse. It's going to terror. 
into, what is it, Ghost or something? Whatever. Ice Beam is 90 power. I think we just Wave Crash. I think we just get him as hard as we can. I think even if he's resisted, like if it's water or something, I think we're just supposed to Wave Crash it. Game two. Whew. Okay. Let's get our replays. Let's get in a call. Hello, hello. Give me a second. I'm getting a couple of things ready, and my thing won't hear you yet. Okay. No rush. Check, check, check. Audio? How about now? Very good. Um, forfeit the last game. So I can you get the it. replay as well. Great prep. Pause my music. Great set. <laughs> yeah, I think I I should have probably teared Garchomp game two. I thought I I thought you would use Dazzling Gleam for some reason, and I was like, I can live that. But uh, should have so, thought about Ice Beam. Let me show you. I did okay. I did so much prep this week. Yeah. I did. Here, let me actually share my screen with you. Um, this one. I think none of this is is mad at itself. Yeah, that's still recording. That's still audio. Do you see I've got six teams? Mm-hmm. I, you gave me all week to prep. Here's my here's my list so you can have it. Um, but I'm so One team for each day? Basically. Yeah. Um, Amoongus, awful this week. Yeah. So bad into you. Here's my, here's my big hot thing that I was excited about. Level 37 Hatna. Not a thing you can do in VGC. Wait, why 37? To underspeed Big Hat. <laughs> oh, okay. And not get taunted. Man, this matchup was so bad for me. Um, I had to come out with some serious offense and some serious sauce to beat you. How was how was your experience with this matchup? Well, in prep, it, it felt like my team had a little bit of an advantage because uh, there was more things that I could bring. So Amoongus was a little bit of concern, but I, I also kind of thought maybe it doesn't come. I did have some tools to deal with it in case it was there. Mostly like Bleak Wind Storm, right? Mm -hmm. um, Bleak Wind and Eruption and Blizzard yeah. on Rotom. Right. And like that bolt kills Amoongus and gets under Rage Powder. It was brutal. Yeah, the, uh, the Scarf Lando was kind of a surprise. It had to be. So the reason behind Scarf Lando is that if you lead Typhlosion, and we frisk intimidate each other, I can see if you're Scarf, and I can counter frisk you. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, yeah, I sent, send, me your, send me your paste. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, um, what ability was Gudra? I'm so interested. Gudra was shell armor. Yes. So, yeah, I, I, I kind of went back and forth between Sap Sipper and, and shell armor, uh, and I actually talked to Electric and Bohm a little bit this week. Mm -hmm. And Electric was like, you're playing against Urshifu. Like, don't bring Sap Zipper. Amoongus isn't that big of a threat here. So, uh, yeah, that seemed better, right? Because Urshifu. Was super correct. Yeah. Um, um, I think, like, I kind of needed to launch the first Draco Meteor. And then game one, I had, like, trouble deciding which Pokemon, if either, to switch out to maybe negate that Draco loss on the special attack and that came back to bite me i think um but i don't know i don't know if there was a right choice i don't know scarf lando maybe seals the deal and the stone edge i think i think stone edge over the rock slide was actually a big deal yeah i don't think rock slide picks up a 2h 2h two two ko on this terra flying gudra what a monster this was to prep against by the way this gudra yeah it's a good man it's super solid um, like my plan was like if it sets up shelter then it uh then i just get wrecked then i just i just can't crit it i have to hit it with with earthquakes and close combats and i would be super sad yeah the the rotom was pretty scary this week that's like i think i, I can't remember the calcs now because I, I spent a lot of time prepping too actually um but the rattled wug trio i i think outspeeds even scarf rotom or it might be close i'm not sure i can check that again later but i believe uh, that wug trio was like it was a big piece this week and i think it did okay you know it, it it landed some moves i played in a way to respect it like like i saw the triple dive i'm like turn one i have to trade tailwind i was actually mental herb on the fletchender because in my prep getting fletchender scar uh 
Tony just taunted was game losing. So I had the mental herb. Um, it was actually my original plan of the Eviolite. You might not have killed. Um, I had a lot of Eviolite, Fletchinder, Lives, Garchomp, Rock Slide, Calcs going on. Mm-hmm. Um, I had special Landorus to kill Overquill going on. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I was special Landorus for like three days. Yeah, I had the Terra flying on Landorus and Gudra out of respect for Landorus. <sighs> You had a lot of Landorus respect and the taunt and the gunk shot and the Yep, that's that's what that's what Overquill is supposed to look like. It's fast yeah. Overquill. Look at all this you put so much speed on your guys. I did too. I wanted I wanted to outspeed Mesprit, uh, if we match Tailwind, especially. Yeah. Um I like when I was playing through both the games, I'm like, uh oh, maybe maybe there's a couple things I could have done differently and the outcome would have been different, but you could do that every week, right? I mean mm-hmm. I feel like you just you had the prep down and you played it very very well. Um, there was there were close games, but I feel like you had my number. I had I had a couple of things that went that went just right. Um, the Gudra killing itself in game one, those life orbs they get you. Yeah, yeah, especially when Draco's tickling after using it a couple times, right? I, like, I was honestly expecting a mixed Gudra after I saw the Draco. I was expecting. I, yeah, like I had a uh, physical build earlier in the week because I was like, rock moves are pretty good into your team outside of like Urshifu and, and Lando with Intimidate. So I had Rock Slide on there. I had Rock Slide on Garchomp. I'm like, I'm just going to Rock Slide Colby to death this week, but ended up backing off of that because no, the, no, the Gujar just doesn't you. do it. Right? I'm Rock Slide yeah, you this week. <laughs> <laughs> the the Gujar just doesn't, it doesn't do enough on the physical side, at least this week. I love the Wug Trio. Also, Shout outs to us bringing our choice band water physical mons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I kind of figured physical or sorry, choice band palafin would come. So that was like a big focus in my prep too. But um what what really caught me off caught me off guard? Obviously the Mesprit, right? I mean the game two looking back, I think yeah, game two, I think I should tear up one hundred percent of the time. I think, on I, think I think it's just innocuous enough that you don't feel threatened mm-hmm. in this lead. Either like Palafin is going to hit you with like a weird ice punch. I'm like running the ice punch, but I don't think you expect mm-hmm. the Mesprit. I didn't expect the Mesprit to kill the Garchomp in my calcs um, early on. Wait, was it a roll? No way that has no, to no, 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 no. But like when I was doing yeah. it, like what if I run life? Like um, what if I run the, uh, the ice beam? Like, okay. But the, the Mesprit was designed to shut down the Hatterene to actually right. imprison the Dazzling Gleam and then Terra Dark to not get hit with Psychic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. What? Bleak, uh, like. Bleak what all? So hard. Rotom. Rotom was a big focus in my prep for sure. I was. I was scared of that because obviously Tornadus doesn't like it. So I had the Terra Ground, which is kind of iffy because I'm, you know, like weak to Palafin. I'm still weak to Ice moves. So I, you know, I, I, it was tough. It was. It was a tough one to prep for. Uh, the thing with the Rotom, Jace gave me some good advice that if you're hitting with stab moves neutrally, that's mm-hmm. when like Life Orb is a cool op- a cool option because Rotom actually doesn't hit your team super effectively very well until you're ter- mm-hmm. flying everything. But right. the Life Orb is meant to hit things and then Terra Electric because that's just good on Rotoms. Um, no trick room. Okay, I have two questions for for my sake. Mm-hmm. Did you give any respect to? unseen fist and not running protects i i did Uh, like so gudra didn't have protect um because gudra is very seldom outspeeding you i guess if i have tailwind up and you don't i i have just enough speed to outspeed your fastest mons Mm -hmm. so it's even outspeeding palafin in tailwind um but yeah the like you got to bring protect for the other mons on your team, right? Mm-hmm. So I can't, I can't just say, oh, I'm gonna leave protect out this week because there's Urshifu. Like I gotta have it for your other threats too. I'm, I'm a big protect believer. Protect is good. Um, yeah. The, the other thing that I, I want, I'm really excited to know is my team is slow. I think mm-hmm. I've got tools to go fast, but on the base, my team is slow. Did you, um, how did, how did that play into your prep when it is when, when Tailwind and Trick Room are on the table? Yeah, hat. I mean, a hat would be the slowest thing on both sides. So I definitely early, like my first build uh, was like a Hatterene weakness policy set, which in hindsight looks really good, right? Um, with what? What, what What are you procking it with? Shadow Sneak on Spirit Tomb. Yo, I love that. Yeah. 
So like, it, you know, if I could have brought that team instead, it would have been nice, right, with what you brought. Um, but I, I, I felt like my team is just faster than yours generally, too. Um, especially because Tornadus is just better than Fletchender, right? Uh -huh. So if, I, if we match Tailwind, I feel like I'm at a little bit... I felt like I was at an advantage. Turns out that wasn't the case. Um, but yeah, so that's why I decided to go with the fast mode. I, I, yeah. I, uh, it's tough, right? Because you, you can look back and you could say, like, you could say, oh, I could have focused on this more in prep, or, oh, man, this, like, third build that I made this week would have worked out so much better, but you don't know what your opponent's going to do. And the same thing applies to the game. Like, looking back, yeah, I, I could have done things differently. I think tearing the Garchomp is the is the blunder. The other choices, I think, I don't think that's. I don't think that's... Like, were you actively considering tearing it? Do you have a yeah. video? Do you have a, are you putting, putting a video or no? No, I'm, no, I'm no. recording this, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. Um, but but like, if you were actively considering it and then decided against it, I think I think it was hidden. I think the kill on Garchomp mm -hmm. was not obvious because it looks like a gleam and that won't kill. Yeah, that is what it looked like, and that's why I decided not to. But even just considering the gleam, I'm like, okay, I can take a lot less damage if I Terra, and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to burn my Terra too early, and I ended up not using my Terra because I just got rolled after that. Yeah, yeah, and. And the Terra's worked out for me. The Terra Water on the Landorus I'm looking at, and then the Terra Electric. Just it felt good to be doing more damage. My plan, mm -hmm. my plan to kill Overquill was actually Rotom. That was actually my my way to kill Overquill. I just can't hit it. I can't reliably hit it super effectively. So, just got a Thunderbolt yeah. to death. Right, and pretty low special defense on that thing, so it does not take Thunderbolts very well. What was your? You had the Terra Ground Tornadus. Yeah, you could have you protected towards the end. You could have I could have gotten got with that. I know. Yeah. But again, it's like, I don't know what you're going to do. Right. So I, I played okay. I played under that. I played. Yeah, I played. A, I played like Terra Ghost or something. Um, mm -hmm. And I think I thunderbolted the overquill instead because I was afraid of this. And, and you like yeah. you had the prep for me and I played under the prep that I respected you having and didn't know you had. If that makes sense. Yeah. What, what <gasps> my thought process on that protect was like. Okay, I, did I, I don't know if I revealed Protect on Overquill. I did, I did not. You did um, not. I know you did. But yeah, so I, I figured over, like Overquill running Protect is pretty common, which I was. Uh, and Tornadus, oftentimes five move syndrome or whatever, like d might not want to run Protect. So I'm like, maybe he's going to think I don't have Protect on this thing. So uh, you called it out. If I, if I actually die with the, with the Rotom there on that Gunk Shot turn... Um, I think you're in a good spot because I just one I one shot the. I don't. I I think I think I think I kill the overquill. With the palafin in the end, anyway, I think I still get this game if if I, um, if I don't if if you get the kill with the gunk shot, game two turn three that was turn three oh a thing that happened in this match in game one is I felt like I was playing on a knife's edge. Um, I brought f three offensive mod and a, and a, and a Fletchender for Tailwind, mm -hmm. and I said I better I better hit him hard, right? And you intimidated my my double physical lead, and I had to switch Landorus out, and I was locked into choice items, and I just had to rely on my mons doing what they were brought to do. Um, I wanted to be tricky. I wanted to be defensive. I wanted to click on cool switchy button moves, but. I match the tailwind and I have to click my attack moves before I lose. And I did. And it worked out. But but this yeah. close. Like like razor thin margins. Yeah, I, I'm gonna actually calc the uh that gunk shot live. I, w I wonder if that was a roll. Because it was really close. But again, like you said, even if I got it, I don't I don't know if that secures the win for me. Yeah, because I, I had preserved all of my palafin HP. Mm -hmm. and, and then I think even still, like because you killed the Mesprit, and it was still bad. <laughs> it was still pretty bad. Yeah, 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 for I, sure. I, um, I was it banded. was a roll. Yeah, I would have, I would have needed to high roll, but yeah. I felt, I felt good about this match, but I did not feel in control. This was, this was a fantastic match. This was terrifying. You'll, yeah, you'll, game, you'll see. <laughs> game one, game one, I feel like could have probably gone either way. The the Terra Water on the Lando was pretty nice. Um, and then, but game two, I felt like you were in control, especially I, when you called out that protect. Then it was like, I yeah, was the like, protect. Okay. It really, once I got the Garchomp kill, like that's what Mesprit, that's what I brought mm -hmm. Mesprit in the prep for. 
you'll you'll see me deciding my lead for team for game two, and I'm like, he's bringing the guard jump. The guard jump didn't come. He needs the guard jump. It's coming. Um, yeah. So I have, and I almost didn't lead Mesprit, and I'm like, you know, when he leads guard jump, if I lead Landorus, he's gonna have a clear amulet, sixty percent of the time. I I'm gonna wish I had Mesprit on the board turn one, and I was right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Garchomp was like clear amulet or lumberry this week, and I was like, well, Amoongus isn't that threatening, even if it does come. So yeah. I'm just gonna throw like clear amulet. I on I had Will o' Wisps in my earlier in my earlier bulkier versions of this team. There were yeah. Will o' Wisps on Rotom, on Fletchinder. Uh, I had another status floating around somewhere. Um, I was I was trying to paralyze you. I tried a lot. I had Hatnab running Nuzzle for a hot second. Uh huh. Uh. But at the end of the well, day, bring your months. Anyway. Yeah, you played great. Great prep. But really well played. So congrats, man. You, you earned it. All right. Anyway, that's fantastic. I'll talk to you soon. All right. See you later, buddy.